Last time on Persona 3 Reload. Head to the dorm. Okay, the dorm is that way. So, oh, there's another coffin. You'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys dorm. I'm actually in the girls dorm. What the F? Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. Oh, that you should have that looked at. What's happening to me? My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. I feel kind of bad though, spying on him like this. As you should. Until we meet again. Thursday. I'm recording this on a Thursday. Because that's the first. When this game came out. My curtains are open now. Cool. Feels like a strange dream. It's time to go to school. And forget about it. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. You know what? High school Simon would have completely agreed with you. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. Um... I know what you, you know what, I'm going to answer honestly, I know what you mean, man. I'd be a hypocrite to say the other thing. It's really addicting, ain't it? After you've built up the courage to do it once, you got to try to, oh, I get stats from sleeping in class. Fantastic. Fun story. There was this one time I bounced around in, from schools a lot. Uh, my parents got divorced when I was very young, and there was times I, you know, my mom had custody, my dad had custody. One time when I was living with my dad for about half a year, I actually went to a school that was run by nuns and there was a full on religion class, which I got a 18% in at the end of the year, I believe. I got to tell you though, those Bibles, great pillows, not going to lie. Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Yeah, you're basically trading uh, in for courage there. Oh, we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Dakota. Is that the guy with the samurai helmet? Show me him. What's his quiz going to be? Quizby, Quizby. No. Oh, it's you. Okay, no, I'm in agreement. I hate you. All right, Mr. Dakota, I'll be your classical literature teacher and asshole. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Who's heard of the 47 Ronin? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong. The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. Nah, Jupe, it is absolutely nap time. Get that Bible out. I'm feeling sleepy, yep. This guy's a better hypnotist than I am. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? <laughs> you know what? I feel like the game is daring me to do it, so you know what? Screw you, buddy. Are you even listening? No. No, actually. Let's wake up, shall we, children? Open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You young'uns might even call it Da Bomb. Yeah. Yes, fellow, ch fellow kids. I can tell you people are zoning out on me. Oh, is it that obvious? I force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Is he going to give me a quiz? Am I going to have to answer something? Nope, I just got courage for sleeping in front of the teacher. Oh no, I got academics from sleeping in front of the teacher. <laughs> no, no, I'm pretty sure I'm still a slacker, actually. We should keep that rank. I wonder what would happen if I didn't sleep. Would I have gotten the quiz then? Did I miss the quiz? Is the quiz coming later? Sup? How's it going? You want to stop somewhere on the way home? Sure, let's get some ramen. Go to the Haga Curry Diner. That's right. You're new around. Uh, yeah, no kidding. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Ooh, this is new. This is Polonia Mall. This is. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. That staircase off in the distance looked like where the guy listening to the radio was. Let's go to the arcade. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever done it myself. Clubs suck. This 
place may not look like much, but I'm not gonna Happy Punch. Let's check out the CDs. First, that came out funny. That's... I guess that is a crane game. I see the claw, but do things get stacked up like that? That seems like an odd configuration. Where's where's the pit? Can the claw even move around in there? You're terrible at this. <laughs> yeah, not impressed. We can go now. I'm getting hungry. I'll hang out with Junpei for a while before heading back to the dorm. After school evening. When does gameplay begin? Welcome back. Oh, you're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early? Everyone's telling me to go to bed, man. What are you guys, all my moms? You should go to bed early. You should go to bed early. You should go to bed early. LB will display a map of current location and shortcuts for fast travel. When it's displayed, we can open the town map. Some shortcut destinations or even the shortcut function itself may be unavailable in certain situations. Okay, so we can zip from floor to floor. I don't know why I would ever go to the floor. Wait a minute. That room is showing now. Is that, what it, is, that, is that where they were spying on me? I think it is. This is just whatever. This is just whatever. Okay, congrats on the vending machines. Um, so, what's, what's here? Storage room. This is a thing I can interact with, right? Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I went to this one and I thought I saw that room. Oh, that's the literally that's literally the same floor. It's just two shortcuts on the same floor. Okay, I was confused. That makes a little more sense. Mildly. What's over here? I want to wash my hands again. I want to daydream while I wash my hands. Let my mind wander. I can feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. Whenever I see cherry blossoms in full bloom, it feels like springtime has finally arrived. Am I reminiscing about things that lady taught me? Okay. Chit-chats. Hey, you guys would be spying on me in my room, would you be? By the way. I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooked and stuff, but it's just us students now. Eh, Mitsuru's enough of a dorm mother. Yeah, that's why we have such a nice kitchen. It seems like a waste not to use it. I would love to use it. I don't know what I'd really be able to make good use of it, though. And Kurijo Senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel bad if no one ever used it. Yeah, we should learn to cook. Cooking is good. Kirijo, I gotta get used to say... Well, I, I don't know. I, I just want to call her Mitsuru. Because oh, right. that's her name. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Well, tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there will be more full moons. Yeah, like these! Bam! I guess we'll just go to our rooms then. Let's, let's, let's do the fast travel. Bam. That is fast. I like it. Ah, my DLC. My curtains are just magically closed. Anything in my fridge now? Nothing to chill. I haven't saved my game yet, have I? I guess I just do it from here? Wow, that's actually very fast. You press start, boom, done. All right, cool. I don't have to go to a phone or a typewriter or anything. Where's that camera? I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. What you got? Oh, your velvet room key. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what was that contract all about? Are 
We're going to do that now? I thought midnight hour stuff involved us actually going places, but this is just like Velvet Room, right? The guys spying on me are going to be like, that's a terrible position to sleep. I am actually sleeping in that position. Wow. <laughs> How is he? Very uncomfortable. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just sprawled. Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out I his uniform. barely qualify that as going to bed, actually. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Man, his back is going to be sore in the morning. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common. He must be the protagonist. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. <laughs> you are. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help. Am I about to be recruited to something? I guess that's true, but still. I still don't know what this is all about. Andrew, also, those keyboards are enormous. Look at those things. Akihiko, what's wrong? Boxer boy. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Whoa, we're playing that kind of game, are we? Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Oh dear. Does that mean he's bringing that thing? That here? exclamation emote that covers the screen is very Persona 5. I wonder if that was in the original game. Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Okay, you guys gonna do that without me? Oh dear. Akihiko. Already got a band-aid. Or did he have that before actually? Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. God, whose voice is that? This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sonata kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Is this gonna wake me up? What the hell? It better have woke me up. What was that? You've gotta be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape. Oh! Okay, someone's going to come get me. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. Yeah, this is your fault. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. Oh, I'm awake anyway. A loud noise woke me up. Yeah, you know what? Not surprised. I should check what's happening outside. Oh, I was about to say, am I going to miss Yukari? But never mind. You better be clothed. Oh, I know you are because we were spying on you. You don't have to worry about him being in his skivvies. You already know what he's wearing. Uh, what's going on? Hurry to the first floor. We'll there was a back door. I don't remember that. Oh wait, take this just in case. What am I taking? A, a useless gun? A short sword? You just have that? Okay. Why do I have a short sword? Someone hands you a short sword and say, let's go. What the hell? Alright. We should be safe now. We're not out the door yet. Oh, that's a weird effect. Are you guys outside? Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere. Hmm. What? I think we should stay here, actually. Yeah, I've played enough Resident Evil games. We're not going through that door. What are we gonna do? It's at the front door. Should we go upstairs for now? I think so. Do we just have to outlast everything? We just have to live through the hour? Let's go. We have to get to safety. Alright. Why am I being entrusted with leading to safety? Also, why is there a bar here? So that was the back door. Let's get away upstairs. Let's hurry. 
No fast travel for me. Everyone hide. Okay, uh, are we just gonna keep going up? Is that the plan? Sorry. I know this is sudden and you were sleeping. I promise I'll explain later. That's a weird place for the text box to show up. We already show text boxes without voices at the bottom anyway. I guess that's when you're actually playing. What was that? It sounds disgusting. Keep moving. Hurry. But I have a short sword. Wait. If we go out here <laughs> then I'll see you guys have a camera in my room. Oh no, wait, this is the roof. <sighs> I've locked the door, so we should be safe for now. Should have joined the party at the front door. What up? Is that the guy who was listening to the radio? No, never mind. That's many guys who were listening to radios. Are they literally holding their faces up? Oh, no. It's just one thing and it is gross and disgusting. I have many questions. Uh, I have new questions. Why would you do this? And you did it too late. It's okay, Protag. Just shoot yourself in the head. It's fine. Oh, they found us. Wait. Oh, he wants to see how we do? No, no, no. Use the short sword. Don't shoot yourself in the head. I don't care what little prison boy says. I don't care if the Millennium Falcon just flew into your eyeball. Go on. This is unwise. What does that have to do with shooting yourself in the head? Why is that a thing? Sure made him happy though. I am thou. Thou Guys, it's the thing! They said the thing! From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus. Master. Oh, we're playing Stone Ocean now. That is a weird looking persona for a protag. I have not seen this before. This guy is not in the fighting game. Also, why is Prison Boy just grinning at me? Wait, wait, what? Okay, that's much better. That's a protag-worthy persona. Now we're talking. <laughs> even the even the boss is just like, whoa, that's better. That's way better. This is the persona that Elizabeth uses in the fighting game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that it was. The, I don't even get a get to win fight. Hmm. Okay, can I go back to bed now? Even my persona looks tired. Wait, what? No, bring the cool guy back. I don't want to use harp ass. I want to use coffin wings. What on earth? 
earth was that? Yeah, wasn't that another persona so much cooler? Yeah, go away, god of strings. Obtained Orpheus. I got an achievement. Is it over? You tell me! This is not my area of... You guys know what's going on more than I do. Oh, no. Actually, the answer is no. No, Get away. no these guys look easy. Short sword away. I need to protect her. Ooh, this is a fun battle theme. There's my short sword. Okay. Uh, do I get to scan them? I guess not. Do, why do I shoot myself in the head when I use a persona? I don't understand this. Uh, you know what? Fine. <laughs> this doesn't seem... The enemies just look at me shooting myself in the head and they're like, Oh, well, I guess we win. Harpass! Oh, they're weak. I won more. I know how that works from the other game because I'm recording all these games concurrently. We're, sh we're sharing knowledge through the morphogenetic field between all the Simon Says's. The, the Says Coons. The monsters are gone. And I feel like a nap. I have not slept in the same position twice yet. Are you okay? Come on. Uh, why am I voicing what's voiced? I can hear you, I just don't care. Oh, say something! <laughs> I'm a silent protag! That ain't happening. Back to the Velvet Knot Room. It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very no, no, no. Who was the other one? I want the other one. The other one was way cooler. That was the power of Persona. The manifestation of your psyche. Persona? My psyche? I don't understand. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask. That protects you as you brave many hardships. But I tear my mask off in the other one. Mask? Where's my mask? I don't get a cool Joker mask. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. So get ready for social links. As you form these what did I just say? will foster the growth of your persona ability. So keep helping Jupe cheat in class. Please remember. It's the same in all three games. Trust me, I ain't forgetting. Now, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here I wonder if the actual gameplay, once we get into it, will be limited to an in-game hour. Like, I'll have to do the things I need to do within a certain time period. Do I get to pick that? Or is that going to happen for story reasons? Whoa! Did I just sleep for a week? What the hell was that? Yeah. My head is getting clearer. I can feel someone's presence beside me. Oh, literally! I'm in a actual hospital. How do you feel? I feel like I lost a week. Yeah, where am I? Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk. That's it's not the thing I'm interested in. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. You really, really weren't. But wow, that power of yours was really something. <laughs> the second one, not Harpass. 
What were those things? What did I do? That power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. We have such a layout for this too. We're such an operation compared to the other games. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. Oh, is that our backstory too? The teacher was going into stuff that happened to us, but we didn't get a chance to hear her elaborate. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. Ah? Huh? But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but... There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. Is that going to be part of the Shadow Midnight Hour stuff lore? At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. Ah, so let's play Mitsuru. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That is her last name, right? Or are the J and the R flipped around? That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Explain the shooting ourselves in the head thing. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Uh, it's not your fault. I was scared too. But again, why shoot ourselves in the head? Thanks. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself... Info dump. I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. Tell me about the spying. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Hmm, I wonder who this voice actress is too. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. That was quick. After school evening. Dude, I lost a week. Don't tell me about school and evening. That's all you're going to say? I got to say, I'm so relieved. I'm out of the, yeah, I'm relieved I'm out of the hospital too. Don't push yourself though. Want to get some rest? Don't worry, worry. Your room's safe now. You should go to bed early like we tell you every day. Is anyone else going to be happy to see me? Let me in here. Kirijo, it is Kirijo. So I wonder what her attachment to all this uh, nonsense is. Kirijo Senpai said she'd be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for me. Try not to overdo it at school tomorrow. What paperwork for me? So, so boys are on this floor, right? This is Sonata. The nameplate says Sonata. No one's inside. So am I just going? All right, we're here. Wait, I have a dash? I just noticed that now. Also, did I just drop off my bag when I went to my room? That's cool as hell. Okay, so I'm walking, I'm dashing. I'm walking, I'm dashing. Ooh, okay. Dash, dash. Now I have to know how to run into people. Where did I drop off my bag? I wanna know now, is it in my closet with my DLC? All right, I guess we'll turn in. What's gonna happen? Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing at all. <laughs> Anticlimactic. Never mind, something's happening. Yo, long time no see. What did we have an upset stomach? Was it a long time? Got something to tell ya. Well, aren't you full of energy? We're gonna get snarky now. Hey, you totally thought I was a pain in the ass just now, didn't you? Man, everyone in this game series there's always someone who has to be a pain in the ass doesn't there always someone yes yes actually you know what i'm gonna give that to you i did totally think you were a pain in the ass just now there has to be someone and congratulations you're it ah my bad i'm not the same person i was yesterday just forget about the old jupiter wait what what the hell happened to you in the last 24 hours anyway just for always making everything about me you should cheer up too, after all. You got a friend in me. <laughs> Start singing the song. Jeez. Someone's full of energy today. This is what I've been saying. I can hear you all the way from over there. 
Oh, you two didn't come to school together even though you're in the same dorm? Oh yeah, something occurred to me. The extra rooms in the dorm, we're probably going to have our whole Scooby gang in there by the end of the game, aren't we? Because there's literally four vacant doors. And I'm pretty sure these Persona games always have eight playable characters. So four of us are there now. Junpei's going to move in at some point. And then we've got Robot Girl and whoever the hell else is in this game. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Uh, I've uh, heard enough about that. <laughs> yeah, she's she's been kind of getting it for that. Anyway, says Kuhn. <laughs> I love that. Are you feeling better? Aw, oh, thanks for asking about me. Sorry to hit you with this so soon after you recovered, but the chairman wants to talk to you today. That's that dude with the annoying name. Head to the dorm after school and come up to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? I'll oh, get to see your spy cameras in my room. Why are you being called out by the chairman? What the heck did you do? It's not like that. Yeah, I don't think he knows. Come on, we're going to be late if we're just standing around here talking. All right, let's go. Morning, afternoon. Oh, is there another quiz? It's this guy. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. Yeah, no biggie. Well, that wraps it up for the Stone Age. Ah, I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. What do you want to talk about? I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not exciting enough until then. But it's what I'm paid to do, so here we are. Ah, it's not easy being an adult. Next up is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Oh, yes. Pick on me, why don't you? The places where people dumped their waste in the Jomon period. What are they called nowadays? What? Um, oh, that's just no, uh, no buildup whatsoever. Just straight up, uh, trivia time. I don't think they're called boneyards. Hovels are just kind of what you call rundown houses. A midden? I'm gonna hope for the best. Hey, I got it. Did I get it? I think I got it. That's right. They're called middens. The word is Scandinavian in origin. It means dung hill. Eh, that didn't work. Still not interested in this at all. Ah, man, even Dunghills can't get this guy excited. Ah, uh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. This guy is secretly Yoshimitsu. I answered correctly. Everyone in this class is looking at me with respect because I guessed right. Wait, was that charm or academics? Oh, it's charm this time. The numbers, if they get darker, does that mean they're getting closer? I need to, like, fill a ring, right? I think Persona 5 is something similar, where it just kind of ekes toward, but you can't really tell how close you are. Maybe, possibly. Uh, hey. Hey. Want to walk home together? Sure. I literally said sure, so you know what? Why not? We live in the same dorm and all, and I've been a little worried. Why are you worried about me? Are you worried? Oh, oh, no, wait. No, no, no. She's worried, so she needs me to take care of her, because I'm apparently willing to shoot myself in the head when things go south. And she's not. I see how I see how it is. What if you pass out again on the way home? Did we pass out on the way home? No, we passed out after we saved your butt. That's just not something that happens. Buy me burgers. Let's go. Where's my burgers? Take me to Maya's favorite joint. Home safe. Good for us. Are we just going up to the fourth floor now? I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. Sure. I get my time with my DLC closet. Oh, hey, what's that? Is that the key? What's that thing shining on my bed? Twilight Fragment? Who the hell put this here? And why does it look like a pill bottle? I haven't seen anything like this before. I should hold on to it for now. No, maybe it's radioactive. Don't hang on to it. It's a bad idea. I guess we'll just uh, skedaddle. Thanks for the whatever that was. Incidentally, I looked up some of the voice actors for this game. Sonata, or Akihiko, or whatever the hell his name is. He's not voiced by someone I'm familiar with 
entirely. I think he's done some extras where I just feel like I've, I hear his voice all the damn time. Uh, similar for Junpei, I can't remember if there was anyone else I wondered about their name, but I was totally right about uh, Mitsuru being a uh, boss from AI the Somnium Files. Allegra Clark, I think her name is. That was very distinctive, so yeah, that is 100% her. But I don't know who you are either. Hey. They're waiting for me inside, cool. So Mitsuru is boss, which is fitting. Ah, there you are. Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is sanada -kun. Yeah, he doesn't look very happy to see me. Hey there. Never mind. Okay, let me start off by... <laughs> All right, good intro, thanks. Would you believe me? I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours. Ah, uh, something tells me I should. Um, excuse me? That's a reasonable reaction. Oh, God. It, I'm never not going to hear boss when Mitsuru talks. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? Yes, I do. I was surrounded by coffins. And not the VTuber, the actual ones. You had to have noticed the sign. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. She does seem to pop up every now and then, doesn't she? With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. So a literal hour. Hidden <laughs> between? I don't get it. Um, hidden. Explain hidden to me. I guess it's more like something people simply aren't cognizant of. But the dark hour does exist. And it occurs each night at midnight. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. So people, some people just turn into coffins and some people don't. That's got to be jarring. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. Oh, I did. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? So, number one, we should just let everyone be in coffins because they're safe. Number two, why is this our job? Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I'll get to the point. Okay. We are the specialized extracurricular ah. education squad. Seize for short. I've seen that acronym before. I wondered what it meant. S E E S. So the specialized extracurricular execution squad. Well, that sounds a little more fun than archery. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru Kirijokun is the leader. And I'm the club advisor. So you just automatically get to join if you could get past midnight without being in a coffin? A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Actually, also explain that. How do they feed on people if they're stuck in coffins? Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. You haven't heard a whole lot about those incidents yet, other than just the people standing around drooling. They're not like Persona 5 incidents, or even Persona 4 incidents. Um, how do you fight them? What about the police? Unfortunately, the police can't do a thing during the dark hour. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. That doesn't explain why I have to shoot myself in the head, though. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I see. You know what? No, I'm not going to be that accepting. What he's trying to say is we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. 
We'd like you to lend us your strength. Is that the 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 gun? Um, I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm just gonna keep doubting. <laughs> Don't think Talk so me into it. Talk me into it. Just hang out with us for a while. I've been doing that. I think you're all crazy. Please, we need your help. Wait! Don't pressure him like that. What if he feels like he can't say no? Oh, I've put up with bosses' pressure. Trust me, this is nothing. I mean, I'd like it if he joined too, but. Um. <laughs> well. All right. Thank you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Again, what's with the shooting ourselves in the head? Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? Uh, was there some other plan not to do that? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. I guess this was supposed to be a temporary lodging, but if Akihiko's here, then it's clearly not just a girl's dorm. I mean, you might as well just let me stay here. Hold up. But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. Yeah, why don't you guys pull some shenanigans? Whatever. I joined C's to fight the shadows. <laughs> I am now Simon C's. <laughs> uh, is that Sess C's? I, I, he just said it and I forgot what it was. Say it again, please. Wait, what? I can hear a voice ringing inside my head. Oh, is it Igor giving me a call? Oh. Bondy time. I am thou. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Is this going to play four times? Oh, I skipped to the end. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choos choosest to create a persona of the Fool Arcana. Are all the protags the Fool Arcana? I think they are. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure uh, Narakami is a Fool Arcana. I'm fairly certain Joker is. I don't even remember Joker's real name. I think it's Ren or Ray or something. Actually, no, what am I talking about? It's, it's Simon. I don't know what I was thinking there. Rank one Fool. Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me. I feel my inner strength growing. I got an achievement. Yeah, I feel that way when I get an achievement too. I recall what Igor said about the power of social links. Well, that's all for today. Not just the power of friendship, the power of treating it like stats and grinding. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Was this a day off? We were at school. Tomorrow is Sunday. So take some time to relax. Hey, wait a minute. Today was set. Okay, weren't we literally just at school? I thought we were at school. Well then, shall we end this meeting? I hate you. You know, because it's the weekend. You know, I keep talking about how Coffin isn't actually here, but somehow I just picture her when you talk like that. Shall we end? Shall we end? Get it? Can I shoot him in the head? I was going to say, are we visiting Igor? But no, I guess this is midnight times. Hi, how have you been? Oh, is this prison boy? Hey, how have you been? <laughs> yeah, who is this? What is your story? We've met before. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. Oh, that it just popped in. He's like, oh, I should let someone know the end is coming. Just kind of occurred to you? Uh, you know what? I kind of care, but I don't think I'm going to get any answers. It's the end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know much about it. What is this about? More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. What is your deal? I feel like you're not associated with Igor. Is he a good guy, a bad guy? A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? Yes, I do. I expect you to honor your commitment. Actually, didn't Igor have the contract this kid had me sign? Maybe they are associated. I'm always watching you. 
Even if you forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. Okay, then. See you later. Oh, just popped in to let me know the end is coming. Right neighborly of him. Okay, blue day to red day. Is today a day off? As it turns out, I am. Oh, are we still midnight houring? Looks like I slept till nighttime. I slept through Sunday? Wow. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. And I thought my sleep habits were bad. Okay, he's Ooh. Well, what's this about? We are stylish. Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. Oh, is this a Junpei? Hey! Did I call him moving in five minutes before he moved in? <laughs> I mean, not a very hard call to make, but still. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here from now on. He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. Ah. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Of course he's a dude. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. <laughs> uh, so many things I'm going to be able to send coffin just to mock her. But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. I didn't do it. How do you feel about that? Like being confused and not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? No, I immediately stepped up and killed a thing. <laughs> nope, didn't happen to me. Hey, what's with the tough guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Nah, this is Mr. Cool as a Cucumber. When does actual combat begin? Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I don't really want to be doing this on my own. You gotta be stoked too, right? Having me join? Oh yeah, it's a delight to have you here. I can't believe we have yet another pain in the ass. There's always the assigned pain in the ass character. It's always somebody. What? Uh, I guess. Yeah, we're entirely stoked. We have a full party. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped. With this many people, we can start checking out that tower. Ah, we've got our, our dungeon area. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartarus! So that's what it's called here. Because in Persona 5, it's like Mementos or something, and then... I forget what it's even called the Persona Four. It's just the TV world. Tartar sauce. What? Yeah, we're going to the grocery store for some more tartar sauce. It's a place that holds the key to understanding the dark hour, or so we think. And the key. <sighs> the chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. Is the chairman going to end up being evil? Because no one who tells puns like that can be good. Hmm, let's just have underlines for no reason. Uh, Junpei is eager. He doesn't even want to go to school, man. He's just like, oh yeah, you ready to kick some ass? I'm so glad I was invited to join. Plus, the dorm's pretty cozy. But the best part is that we are the only ones who can fight these sh uh, uh, enemies. Why don't I just say shadows? You seem pretty gung-ho. Right. Well, duh! Who wouldn't be stoked about fighting for justice? <laughs> Though to be perfectly honest, I ain't got a single clue what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, you have no idea. Do you even have a persona? You're, you're just happy to be here. But I'm sure we'll find out. They did say that they'll explain everything. Am 
I going to get quizzed again? Lunchtime. Have we had a lunchtime yet? I'm tired. I was about to fall asleep. I have that effect on people. Oh, you're here. Can I have a minute? For a change. Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. I mean, that's basically our staging ground, right? I kind of expected to do that anyway. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Junpei already acting like he knows everything. Damn. Doesn't waste any time. I think she literally came to school just to tell us that. She's not like us. She's busy, you know, with the student council or whatever. Oh, is she on that? Whoa, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her. It's just... I don't know. She can be a little stuffy. Also, she spies on people. I'm not letting that go, by the way. I need to go up there and get rid of that camera. Okay. at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. 420 blaze it. <sighs> Finally made it. Did we? I don't feel like we're there yet. I can't believe the accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. It's happening a lot lately though. People jumping onto the tracks. Oh, that's the incident. That's been caused by the apathy syndrome or whatever. This apathy syndrome yeah, that. Things getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap. Everyone else is there already. You better hurry. This kind of reminds me of Reverie Syndrome from Zero Time Dilemma. Oh, we are going to get burgers. Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah, you know what? I'm hearing you. Let's do it. They'll understand. There was an accident. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. Ooh, can we get animal style? Uh, same thing. Maybe next time. Definitely next time, but not with you. All right, everyone's here. Just enough seats for us all. And room for two more, I guess. Heck yeah! Let's get right into it! Maybe we'll haul in some extra crappy chairs for the new <laughs> characters when they join. Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. Yay! So here's the plan. I guess uh, Yukari was kind of recent too. She gave that impression. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Uh, so I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? It's a dungeon. You'll love it. It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Uh, I mean, Does it disappear after the hour is over? It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? So what's there when it's not there? The goal of our club, Seas. Seas, okay. No shadows. However, Simon Seas. Simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. Ah, Simon sees. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Simon sees. Uh, nah, I don't really get it. Uh, Simon sees. Jinpei doesn't see, but Simon sees. Well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the dark hour? All right, that joke's old. We don't know for certain. Sorry, I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. I guess we're going in the dungeon. Our 
society while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows slowly but surely succumbing to their influence i wonder if there's a recruitment kind of mechanic or theme or whatever in this game like there is in persona 4 and 5 because in persona 4 someone's going to get shoved in a tv and we're going to have to beat a shadow and they're going to have to face themselves and they awaken their persona and there's a time limit on that because of the fog in persona 5 there's time limits too, and each dungeon kind of has someone associated with it as they join our team. Here, we've just got like five Persona users. I'm not sure what the mechanic is for getting new people or what we have to face thematically for each person. It's just like, oh, I found this guy crying in a convenience store. He'll do. Hmm. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. Again, crying on a convenience store. Top tier quality recruit. It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa, they're nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Yeah, Senpai took quite a beating. Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. Ah, so team of four again, and Akihiko will just be like support. So sure about this. Uh, yeah, we'll see. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I mean, I have Harp Ass, and apparently Yukari's done nothing, and Junpei, again, he's just excited to be here. I'm not, I'm not sure about this group. I'll stay here. I think Boss may have to carry. Not much point, anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Next time on Persona 3 Reload. That's kind of cool. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Wait! Let me handle this one! Please let Yukari do something. Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. You think I was going to stick with Harpass this whole time? You kidding? This is our 10! 